Oh yeah, I'm at my local park today, walking the dogs. So if you're in Barking, just taking a notice. Now this is a Sigma 600 and this is a Canon 7D Mark II. Quite a good combination for wildlife photography. But I would prefer the 1 to 400 Mark II Canon lens, but that's around about 50 to 1700 quid. But this, around about 700 quid, is quite a good lens and it does the job and it's reasonable focusing as well. But it's got a very advanced focusing system, a tracking system. So what I've done is I've got some custom setting functions on here. I've got C1, C2 and C3. And it's all on the dial there. So to C2, or C, no, C1, I'm sorry, is I've set that up for the middle part of the, um, the screen when you look for it. There's three sets you can program. I've got the middle one for flight photography. I've got it to L servo, which is constantly focusing. And I've got it to high speed or high velocity um, trigger. So it will fire off 10 shots a second. The airplane's coming now. Just bear with me to what plane goes. I'll just carry on doing some of this a second. It might seem a bit blip in the screen there now, but the aeroplane's gone, so I've got a couple of minutes before I can uh, have to stop again. So where was it up to? Yeah, so in the C2 section, which is just a quick dial again, I've got to simple, single point focus, one shot focus, um, one shot focus as well. So once this is now focused, it's just the middle dot in the screen. So I can do like birds on a stick or anything basically that don't require too much of a, a focus area it's more accurate because if you don't have it in single point and you have the, a group of a group of points selected it could just go on a blade of grass or a leaf just in the way it's a lot hard to focus on a small object so I set that so when I'm out in the field and I want to take some pictures of flying birds see one I'm up there quick fire and I'm on it, and then I see a bird on a stick, put it to the other setting, straight away, instant, takes me a second to do it. I can want the birds on a stick, or the wildlife that's there, or whatever. And then again, bird flies over, bang, straight on again, and I'm on to flight at the top, be tracking the bird, tracking the bird, and firing away. Taking as many shots as I can, especially with tracking birds. Now, I could go into the focusing system a lot more, but I am learning it myself and I will do uh, a more advanced focusing system videoing um, talk as soon as I know what I'm doing but I am getting all right at it I think there's a bird over there now I find with wildlife photography, which I'm passionate about, is it's best to learn some behaviour. And you don't have to be an expert, or Bill Oddie, or people like that, David Attenborough. You just have to learn the basics, depends what you're after. Now in your local parks, you've got a lot of garden birds. And there are plenty, and you, if you learn just half a dozen, you know, it's like a comedy this. You can't see the dog at all. Well, he's, ch he's chewing on a tree. Right, so I'm very passionate about bird photography, wildlife photography. It's not just my only interest, but I really do like doing it. But I find if you're going to take photographs of animals and birds, it's best to learn the behaviour. Now, I've always been interested in birds since I was a kid, since I was at primary school, and 
one of my teachers got me into it by giving me a bird book and then my dad got me into it and then a few years lapsed and you know life gets in the way but as I've got older I've took it back up but I always find that if you're going to spot a bird you'll see them all moving you won't know what they are and you might be chasing a sparrow about in the trees you might be chasing a blue tit in the trees and then missing other birds. So if you learn like half a dozen bird calls, that's a great tit in the background. And you can hear a, a wood pigeon flapping about in the tree. I don't have to go running around looking for this bird. Half a dozen calls, that's all you have to learn. That's a chiff chaff. Quite a nice bird warbler. And that's what I mean about learning calls, I mean, how easy is that to find? I, don't even, I can't even see it, I didn't even know it was there, but I can hear it. And if I want a picture of a chip chat, this camera is more than capable of taking it. Put it into my single point focus, because it's not flying, and it's going to be in between leaves. If it was really in between leaves, I would switch it to manual focus, or you can do a button on here where you can do both manual focus and zoom focus as well, with the um, auto focus sorry, with the button, but primarily manual focus, that's getting a little bit complicated, I might just wait until the bird actually came into view and just keep trying to focus, fire a couple of shots, refocus, fire a couple of shots, and be sensible with what you wear as well, I'm not wearing the best things today, but normally dull dark clothing, I like wearing camo tops, the cheap the hard wearing, you know, and if you need to sit down in the grass or in a bus, you're not going to stand out like a sore thumb. There's loads of people walked past me before now and didn't even know I were there. I was within yards of them. And this covering, I've got, talking about camera, my camera, is, a lot of it to do with protection of the actual camera itself or the lens itself I should say I don't want it getting all scratched up I don't see the point in not looking after your gear as well because it's got a last year it costs a lot of money so wildlife photography to sum it up be quiet my dog's not being um, be observant learn signs learn behavior learn your camera and if you can't learn it that well do what I did, two presets, two buttons, and that'll get you halfway there until you start getting used to your button. If you put it on um, a custom setting, you can always adjust it on your wheel. You can always adjust either the shutter speed or the ISO. It's just, you just learn, learn your camera so you can do it with your eyes shut. But you don't have to be that advanced with your camera technique to get really good photographs. It's all about practicing. Learn behaviour, stay hidden, or try and get the sun behind you. That's an ideal thing. If you're shooting into the sun, it's not always possible, but the sun will be over there. Ideally, I'd be shooting this way. Like I said about the chip chaff, I know it's there. I can stand over there and uh, get the sun behind me, so give me a better shot. And with your ISO levels and stuff like that with these lenses, because they're like f5.6 um, you, you're going to try and keep the ISO down so you don't extend the uh, zoom as, as much as you could do brighter weather means lower noise means less grainy picture means sharper pictures when you get them in processing at all another thing I'd recommend as well We've joined, me and the wife here, we've joined RSPB, we're in the National Trust and we just go to these places quite often. Oh, whenever we get a day out, this is, that's us. Sorry about my dog. So it's, it's all about getting out and then you get out, you start learning behaviour just by that. You start seeing birds that you will not see. So you're in the woodland, you're going to see woodland birds. You go on the moors, Toby. 
You can see my Holland there. If you go to the sea or the seashore, you can see rocks and troughs and things like that. It's all there for you. It's all about getting out. Alright, Toby's putting me off. Toby, I'm filming. Come here. You know, you got four acres here and you stood in front of the camera. What a plonker. Come here. And he's out of focus, not like you've got a focus dog, is it? Right, I'll have to stroke him while I'm talking to you. So I'm going to do some filming now and I'm going to take some photographs. So I'm going to wander around. So wish me luck. <laughs> actually take two. The first one I did, it was like just having my nose talking. I'm hoping you can see me this time and the deer. Um, I'm about 20 feet away. I'll relax again in a minute, he was doing a second ago. Well this is how you get your award winning photographs. <laughs> She's talking to it. with it.
<laughs> this is a Canon 7D Mark II and the 150 to 600mm Sigma lens, the contemporary version. I'm going to walk forward now and I'm going to count my paces, see how far I get. Well, I'm going to count to about 50. Hopefully I can stay in screen. <laughs> 